Hi, welcome to the Jim Sapphire channel. As always, please subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram, Jim Sapphire. So today's video, I wanted to showcase two items, brushes from Unicorn Lashes and the Dose of Colors ice cream palette that I purchased at the IMATS show. So recently in the mail, I got this, um, this lovely box from Unicorn Lashes. This ice cream with spikes in it. Interesting. <laughs> and look inside. Interesting artwork. And then the package itself. Look at all these brushes. <laughs> so Pretty much they all have the uh, unicorn the unicorn handles with the unicorn unicorn icon on the on the bar barrels and then let me let me pull out a bigger one so you can kind of see the colors on each each of the um, brushes so a little bit of purple light green blue and pink and the fibers so on the Unicorn Lashes website, it is sold out. But if you join their if you join their membership, they'll actually email you and let you know the minute they're available again. So these were about uh, forty five pounds, and that equals to be fifty five dollars. And then with uh, tax and shipping, about seventy dollars. You might ask, um, is that crazy spending seventy dollars for some? Um, I guess vegan, you could call them vegan fiber brushes. Um, probably, but if you know me, you know I like unicorns, mermaids, and Hello Kitty. So I, I'm just going to describe each brush. Oh, also um, in the, with the brush descriptions, that's a continuation of the artwork that was on the box. Very pretty. So the first brush, blending is my cardio. For transition color, Def definitely an, an eye brush, I would say. Uh, maybe for transition, maybe a little bit of packing color on the lid. I just want to note that I've already actually used the brushes. Um, I'm happy to say that I'm pleased with them. I actually think they're softer than my Too Faced teddy bear ones. I mean, I'm just happy because based on some of the reviews on YouTube, I was I was so afraid they were going to arrive and they were going to be scratchy. And useless, and then I would just have to display them in a in a display cup. So yes, they're 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 softer than my other vegan brushes. So I think I might actually switch over to these. So these, the next one is Lucky Brows, uh, a brow brush. But they are also saying that you can use this to do eyeliner and to smudge out your eyes. Miss me away, powder brush. I'm just smiling because I just I just love the colorful fibers and, and the handle. I just can't get over that. Okay. Okay. Chisel cheeks for contour. Oh, I, and I guess if you're in a pinch too, you can use this as a highlighter brush because that's what I did today. Spotted and concealer uh, brush. Crease proof for the crease. This one they call a strobe alert. So one their fan brush. I would say it was kind of on the thin side in terms of the thickness. I usually like my fan brushes to be a little thicker. Buff up their foundation brush. You can use um, liquid or cream foundation with this one. Um, bare face blush, their blusher brush. And lastly, um, on cloud glitter. They suggest to use this to pack on color and glitter. So I just uh, figured since I'm talking about such colorful brushes, the next item that I want to talk about is the uh, Dose of Colors 
ice cream ice cream eyeshadow palette that I purchased at IMAX. I'll, I'll link that video below. So just going over all the colors. I mean, I just want to block the mirror so I don't blind you. Okay. So that's a mix of matte and shimmery. So going across, um, berries and cream, matte, mint chip, a shimmery sparkle one, a uh, sherbet, a shimmery sparkle one and sort of a, a light bronze cone, a warm brown matte, hot fudge, a dark brown matte, banana split, a shimmery yellow, blueberry swirl, a um, matte. I wouldn't. It's not just brown, but there's a little bit of purple in it. Um, bubble gum, sparkly light pink. Uh, on the lid, on my complexion anyway, it, it, it's more of a light pink. Even though in the pan's a little bit darker. Uh, lavender honey, a matte, a matte lavender. And lastly, the double scoop. It's a shimmery um, brown. So I already have them swatched on my uh, on my arm. So going across um, berries and cream, mint chip, mint chip. Sherbert, cone, and then hot fudge, and then the bottom row, banana split, blueberry swirl, bubble gum, lavender honey, and double scoop. I would say out of the palette, I think my faves were more of the mattes, um, especially berries and cream. I would I would put that over all over the lid. The mint chip really does um, give you that pop of color. I also like the sherbet bronze. The cone and the blueberry swirl are good for transition. The, for smoking out, the hot fudge and the double scoop. The lavender, I was hoping it would pop more, but not as much as the mint scoop. And as I was saying, the bubble gum, it, it was more of a lighter pink on my eyes. The banana, banana split, I tried to use this in inner corner. It was just okay. So, um, let me get close, but I actually did a look today with um, the eyeshadows. So I went ahead and put the berries and cream uh, are all over my lid. And then on the inner corner more, I put the bubble gum. And then on the outer corner, I tried to do a little bit more of the lavender honey, the the lavender honey and the mint chip and, and then I tried to smoke it out with the double scoop and a little bit of the sherbet so as you can see it's it's more of a uh, pastel rainbow sort of look so a lot of people are saying that this is more of a palette for spring and summer and I do agree it just occurred to me that if let's say you wanted to kind of have a little bit less of a pastel and a little brighter maybe I have the electric palette from Urban Decay so maybe you could mix both of this palette with the um, electric Urban Decay electric palette that way you'll have um, best of both worlds pastel colors and and um, dark bright colors so I hope if you have any comments as always um, please uh, please let me know if you've tried this palette and you know, if you have any looks that you've tried with it and um, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.